Hi guys, Paul here. And what you're looking at here is the new Bolt 250 Mini Quad Racer. And this is from BoltRC.com. Mark from Bolt RC actually added this to my last order from him. I actually purchased some NACE32 boards out, along with some D4R2 receivers, I think it was, and some odds and ends. And uh, this was in the package and basically gave me a call and gave me a bit of a rundown about this uh, multi-rotor. And what they've essentially tried to do is produce a high quality, reasonably priced uh, carbon racer. And they've put a lot of thought with some of the design features. And what we'll do is get stuck straight into the content of the package. So this is what we actually received from Bolt RC. And what we'll do is run through what's in each of these packages. So we'll start with this pack first. And let's get this guy open. So what we have here is basically 3M double-sided tape. I'm not sure exactly where this will go, but I'm sure we'll work it out. Followed by some zip ties. We've got four really long ones. I'm not sure exactly where they go, but we'll work it out once we put this thing together. And we've got a pack full of a whole heap of smaller zip ties. And in this package, let's get this guy open and see exactly what's in here. And what we have here are some standoffs along with uh, some rubber feet, I think it might be, and some bolts. So this next pack, we'll get this guy open and see exactly what's in this one. It seems quite cram-packed. Uh, what have we got here? We've got some more bolts. We've got a whole heap of metal standoffs that look like aluminium standoffs. Uh, some more bolts again. And what else have we got? Uh, some washers, plastic washers it looks like, uh, along with some smaller standoffs, I assume for the flight controller, etc. And we have these guys. We'll get this packet open and have a look at these. So these look like washers. Uh, essentially what the um, bot will do is go right through these and give a bit more support to the carbon. Nice touch. And we also have some more washers. Okay, so these are the main components you'll actually receive. Uh, all three plates. So we have the two bottom plates. This is the uh, mid plate. And uh, lots of holes in there. And the same with this one, lots of lightning holes so you can actually access uh, the wiring. Um, it'd be nice when we get this thing together and see exactly how it all goes together. and lots of holes in the top plate. So mounting and routing of wiring shouldn't really be an issue at all with this multi-rotor. Lots and lots of uh, room there. So let's have a look at the arms. Uh, let's have a look at one of these guys. Uh, these look quite good. Nice and smooth. The carbon looks really good. Nice smooth curves. No sharp points there at all. I like these things here. Uh, just a bit of added protection for the motors. So this looks quite good. A little hole in the middle there so you can actually route your motor wires. And I've almost forgotten. Uh, we've got these two packs here. Look like some more bolts uh, along with some nuts. So let's get this thing together and see what it looks like. So what you're looking at here is the Bolt 250 all assembled and ready to go. Uh, we're going to take this apart again because uh, we're going to have to do the wire routing etc. And uh, but this will give you a good idea what it looks like. Now, it's worth noting that I've actually got this bottom plate on the wrong way around. Thomas pointed that out, and I need to reverse that. Uh, but that won't be too hard to do. We're going to have to take it apart anyway to uh, assemble it and do all the wire routing, etc. Uh, all in all, the frame's really stiff. Quite pleased with the overall strength. The arms I really like, uh, especially these uh, motor protection. That's going to be really, really good. Just that added protection in case you bump into something. Uh, won't guarantee protecting your motor in all circumstances, but it should in most. So as you can see, uh, we have, if you look very careful, I'm not sure how well you're going to see this, uh, trying to get this angle right, but um, where that second plate is, it's actually recessed. That's for the FPV camera, so you can get that little bit of extra room in there. So you're going to be running one of the smaller FPV cameras, so keep that in mind. So this is the basic configuration we're going to probably go with. I've got a PDB in there. It's designed to run 3S and 4S. Uh, so uh, we'll be able to run both types of batteries. Actually, I might quickly give you a look at the PDB. So this is the PDB that I'm actually using in it. 
I picked this up from Banggood and essentially what it will do is allow me to run uh, 3S and also 4S. Uh, so depending on what application or how you intend on using the multi-rotor, we'll be able to use our 3S batteries along with our 4S and it will supply 5 volts and 12 volts. So um, that sort of simplifies running UBEX, etc. and uh, managing LEDs and providing 12 volts to the LEDs and the right voltage to the FPV gear. So what we'll do is give this thing a go and see how it goes with this multi-rotor and report back on it once we've actually got this thing built. And I will have a link in the description for the PDB board also. The top plate has got lots of access points, so there's going to be no dramas as far as routing, wiring, etc. It's actually made a lot of allowances for routing motor wires, um, ESCs, etc. Uh, in this frame. So um, I suppose what we're going to have to do now is basically order some components for it. We're going to buy, need to buy some motors, uh, ESCs. We're going to need FPV gear. We're going to need a special FPV camera for this one because all the FPV cameras that we run are the board type and they're not going to fit in this frame. So we're going to have to get one of those small footprint FPV cameras. So we'll get that on order. Once we've got all the bits and pieces, Thomas is probably going to be the one building this multi-rotor. He really wants to have a go at trying to build one of these from beginning to end without any of my input at all. So I tend to butt in sometimes as the dad and try and show him how to do things better. So um, it'll be interesting to see how he goes with the build on this one. We're going to be carrying a GoPro with this one, so he's going to have to make some sort of 3D mount of some sort so we can actually mount the GoPro on there with some added protection. Anyway, look, I'll leave the video at that, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks very much for taking time to watch this video, and we will catch you guys later.